Hello, it's Deb from Inspire for Life. Happy Moms, Thriving Kids. I'm here today to ask you, do you want to be happier? This is one piece of the Align Life Design formula. Do you ever notice that you can be alone, maybe in your house, and you're sort of thinking you're pretty okay. You might even be thinking you're pretty great. But you walk out into a social situation and forget it. You suddenly feel smaller and less great. And um, you wonder, what the heck has happened? It's the dreaded comparisonitis. It bites you. It's what gets in the way of most of us doing what we really want to do in life because we're just afraid that we can't do it as good as somebody else. Maybe we start doing something and we say, well, I'm just not as funny as her or as smart as them or as creative as him. It's paralyzing and frankly, it's a happiness killer. You know how fingerprints are one of a kind and actually snowflakes are too? Well, guess what? You are too. Each of us is unique. I know we're also so similar in many, many ways because we're human. We share so many human conditions like love and fear and the need to belong and the desire to connect and the need to eat and the need to go to the bathroom and much more. But the reality is as similar as we are and as connected as we are on those areas, we are also our own unique being and we are truly one of a kind. Have you ever heard the saying, be yourself because everyone else is taken? Well, I know it's also easier said than done. It's pretty scary to step out there and fully be ourselves. I can tell you I've been working on this for years. I've actually used my business as my platform for learning to find my voice and to come out more and more as myself. And I really believe that this has been my life lesson. And that's why I'm here trying to get other people to step into that too. It's easier to try to be like somebody else, right? Because we have this deep desire to belong and to be accepted. And we think that in some way, if we're like someone else, we're accepting them in some way and that they might accept us. And what it ends up doing is we, we think that it, it creates a sense of belonging and connection. But it's kind of ironic because the truth of the matter is the more that, more that we try to be like someone else, the more we're not ourselves, the more that we're not ourselves, the more we really aren't sure who we are. And ultimately, the problem is that it moves us in the direction away from peace and happiness rather than towards it. So our craving for connection and belonging, when we go towards being like other people in conformity, we end up not and getting the result that we want. I love this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. To be yourself in a world that's constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. I'd have to agree. So we agree that it feels risky to go out there and be ourselves, to be the real you. What if we're not accepted? What if we're rejected? But I know that the only path to real and authentic happiness is to go out there and be ourselves. I know we'd all love for life to be just a series of great moments and people who accept and love us, and that we wouldn't come upon hard times or people who are difficult. But that's just not going to happen. I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. Certainly not what we've experienced, I'm sure. So our work is to find a way to still enjoy life and to find happiness and harmony in the midst of those ups and downs. And the reality is that the more that we're being ourselves, the more we know who we are, and then we're actually being that in the world, rather than looking outside to find out how we should act or who we should, who we should be like, the happier that we will actually be. And frankly, the more steady and peaceful we can be during those challenging times that are pretty inevitable. I'm just going to ask you this week to pay close attention. Where are you not being yourself? Where do you find yourself playing small or feeling small when you're in the midst of other people? It's not about changing it. It's really just about noticing it now. So pay attention. And how does this apply to the kids? Well, I'd like you to take a look and see where do they suffer from comparisonitis? Where do you notice them stopping themselves from putting themselves out there because they're afraid that they're not going to be good enough? And how can you encourage them to be more of themselves? I know one way is by you being more of yourself because modeling is the key. 
but I'd like to know how you think you can encourage them through your actions and behaviors around sports and academics and see what you can do. Well, I thank you so much, and if you like this video, please click below. If you want more of these videos, then please click subscribe. I love sharing free content, but I need you to show me the love. I'm signing off. Now go out and create the life that you're proud of and that your kids admire. Thanks so much.